Don McCune hosted a popular children's television show that ran for nine years on Como TV from 1957 through 1966 called Captain Puget. Although Don was most widely known as Captain Puget, he hosted other television shows and had quite a television career. Although he passed away in 1993, his wife Linda continues to share his many talents with his large fan base. Linda, Don's television career really didn't start here in the Seattle-Tacoma area, did it? No, that's right, John. Uh, it began in Fairbanks, where he was already managing a radio station, and then Fairbanks built their first TV station in 1954, and he was named the first general manager. And it was at that point in time, I think, that Coma was looking for a host for their new cello television show, their children's show, called Captain Puget, and Don right. solicited his materials. He won the role, and he moved back to Seattle to, to play that role, right? That's right. And uh, the show was on for nine years, and back then they didn't have Emmys, but he won an award, I believe it was called uh, the Sylvania Award, and that's, that's what you have here today. Tell us about that's that. That's right. Uh, the first year that Captain Puget was broadcast, uh, they decided to enter it for a Sylvania Award, and uh, they had to f actually film an episode and mail that film in. And with that recording, Don won the best children's show in the nation in uh, 1958, and he got to go to New York and receive wow. this award. Wow, and then at some point in time during the run of Captain Puget, there was another show that evolved called Exploration Northwest, and I understand that that ran for 21 years, and he won 26 Emmys for that, one of which you have brought here uh, today. What was that show about? That show was an outdoor documentary adventure series filmed just in the Northwest, and uh, it would uh, give a lot of history uh, and educate the viewers uh, about the uh, area they live. Somehow, recently, you were able to acquire uh, a part of the set from Exploration Northwest. That's How did that happen? It, it's the most amazing coincidence. This was the actual set used on Exploration Northwest wow. in the studio from 1973 till 77. It was painted by the Como TV artist, and when they changed sets in 77, the artist took it home. Well, uh, a couple of years ago, the artist passed away. His wife had a garage sale. A woman bought it, and the very next day came by a booth that I had where I was selling his uh, programs on DVD, and she said, uh, I have a poster of Exploration Northwest, and I showed her a picture of the set, and she said, that's it. And I said, I want it, and uh, she gave it to me. Wow, that's quite a story. Yes. Don also was host of a third show on Como called Challenge. What was that about? Now that show ran for 15 years and uh, Don was the host. He would introduce a rabbi, a minister, and a priest who would discuss moral issues of the day. And so it was Don's job to kind of write an overview synopsis of what would be discussed during that mm. half hour. So he opened and closed th that show. Wow. Well, in addition to his television hosting duties, Don had a beautiful baritone voice, and he recorded a number of songs. And if you're interested in learning more about Don McCune and possibly purchasing some of his DVDs or other memorabilia, you can go to the website donmccunelibrary.com and find out where his wife Linda is going to be. Uh, she goes throughout the area at some of the different shows here locally and sells uh, Don's memorabilia. And, uh, I have to put this hat on here because this is the original <laughs> Captain Puget hat here and oh boy I can just feel him coming through me right now and I guess I'll close our segment out the way Don used to close out Captain Puget by saying smooth sailing and bye for now. Smooth sailing and bye for now. He sailed into the harbor.
dapper and he smiled at what he found. Mighty fir trees, roaring streams, majestic mountains, and the sound. His name was Captain Puget. He was brave and kind and strong. Captain Puget is his name.